Hey there Titans, today we're going to learn how to use the Form Titan Salesforce app with your custom object in Salesforce Lightning. So the first thing you will need is the custom object. We have a recipe custom object here and this object has a name, it has a description of the recipe and some related uh, information. We have the steps which is another custom object, an ingredient Ingredients which is another custom objects are related to both are related to the recipe. Okay, so we have a recipe with bunch of steps and bunch of ingredients, and we want to create a we want to print it as a PDF or generate a PDF from it. So this is our form Titan form, and this form contains a few simple things. First thing is you gotta have is the hidden field which will receive our recipe ID and from that we're gonna get all the information from Salesforce. So we have the name, we map the name of the of the recipe and the description and we have repeated sections, one for the steps and one for the ingredients. Let's take a quick look at our get from Salesforce. So we're getting the recipe by the record ID which is equal to our recipe hidden field and then we're mapping the information into our form so we have the recipe name and we have the description take a look at the ingredient so we're getting all the ingredients that in that relate that that's related into our recipe and same for the steps Let's look at our push. So we're telling Form Titan to push a PDF one, once it's done generating to push a PDF into our recipe ID, into our recipe um, that was mapped into the form and we map it by the recipe ID. Okay, let's take a look at the PDF mapping. So here we have a dynamic PDF which is um, based off of an HTML template um, just like as you can see here and we mapped all the information from our form into our PDF and repeated sections are done by tables and we have a table for the ingredients and a table for the steps and that's it. Now let's see how it looks like. Let's publish the form so it comes out empty because I didn't pass any variables. So let's pass in the, the recipe ID. And we get the information from Salesforce. Let's submit this. And we have our beautiful PDF. Now we want to do this from within Salesforce in Lightning environment. Let's see how we do it. So what we want to end up with is a button here. Once we click it, it will do the PDF generation for us. So let's head over to our PDF mapping. We'll go to settings. We'll go to Salesforce button. Hit configure. First, we'll need to configure the object that we're working with, which is a recipe. Second thing is we need to tell Form Titan what is the record ID that we're base, basing our gets from. In our case, it's a recipe ID, FLD number eight. And let's hit here lightning and see what it says. Gives us a bunch of instructions. Let's see how we do it. Okay. Let's head over to setup. Object manager. Let's head over to our recipe and we're going to create a new action. In the action type, we're going to select Lightning Component and we have a Lightning Component from Form Titan. It comes with the Form Titan App Exchange app. Let's set a height. This is what we need to select. That's the only thing I have here right now, but if you have more, that's the one you got to select. So let's give it 800 pixels and 
let's call this print recipe. We save this. Head back to our object manager, recipe object, and let's add it to the layout. Edit the layout. And we're looking for mobile and lightning actions, print recipe. Let's drag it down, save this. Let's go back to our Hala recipe. Hit print, and we get this error. Let's see what we missed. So we have to head over to our. We don't have. We currently don't have a permission to submit the PDF from Salesforce. So what we got to do? We got to go into collaborators, add collaborators from Salesforce. We hit search users. This is my user. Hit next. Now I gotta give uh, permission for me to submit the form from Salesforce. Apply. Okay, that's done. Let's try it again. Hit print recipe, and we have our recipe PDF. Let's view it from the view from the view window. You can either print or download into your computer and if you had generate then it will push the PDF into your recipe object it will come in in a minute in the notes and attachments meanwhile let's take a look how to let's say we want to print multiple recipes from the list view so let's say we want to have a button here print multiple receipts, uh, recipes. Okay, so we have a manual from Form Titan. We'll add this manual in the link, in the description link of this video. So, which describes exactly how to do, so I'm just gonna skip over and do it. So we gotta head over to Setup. We need to create a new Visual Force window, Visual Force page. Let's just delete this. All. Let's hit new. And let's call it multi print PDF. And we paste in the code that we took from the form titan manual now the only thing that we gotta change is the standard controller which we basically telling salesforce we are working with the recipe object we need to paste in the api name which is recipe two underscore c let's paste it over here and save the window, save the, the visual force. Now the next thing we gotta do, head over to our object manager, go to our recipe object, let's go to the button links and actions, create a new button or link, name it we need to select the list button and we're telling Salesforce that the content source will be a visual force page we select our multi print page multi print PDF we just created we hit save and that's it the only thing you gotta you gotta do is just add it to your layout we need to go to our search layout list view edit and add the multi print lightning button we just created into our layout let's see how it does so i'm just going to refresh the list view and as we can see we have a new button here it says multi print lightning let's hit it 
we got an error, we have to, se to select at least one record. Let's go back, select both records. And generate. Let's hit back, take a look at our Hala. We created before we submitted a single one. And we can either, this is the attachment and that's the file. They both look the same. We just created two examples, one for the Lightning and one for the Classic. So you can work with either or. And let's head back to our recipes. Take a look at the sourdough, and we have a note for that, and we have a file for that as well. We just generated. This is our second PDF, and that's how you do it.